Dr. Jean Hoime uh, has been a long-time clinician, a long-time advocate, and a long-time researcher for fetal alcohol syndrome. So we are extremely thankful to him. And he truly has made major contributions to, to the field. Well, I am honored and humbled to receive this award from NOFAS. I have had nothing but tremendous respect for NOFAS over the years. I, I first met Kathy Mitchell many years ago. She hasn't changed at all, I have. And, uh, um, and I've had the opportunity, particularly since I've returned to the Midwest, to work closely with uh, the NOFAS affiliate in South Dakota, Judy Strzok, who is a professor in my department uh, in, in pediatrics, but also with MOFAS at, in Minnesota. Uh, and what a great group of people um, in, in this organization. I also want to to honor the courage of the hundreds of children I've evaluated with this spectrum um, over the last 31 years. Uh, these children have tremendous courage and it doesn't matter whether you see kids in Helsinki or South Africa or the Great Plains of the United States. The kids are kids and these are wonderful children and I'm glad that I've had a chance to work with them. Um, as Ken said, when I first started doing this, um, working with Ken Jones, we were able to recognize the tip of the iceberg, the children who had full-blown FAS. And it became very clear to me early on in my work that there was a need to further define the disabilities in the kids who didn't have all of the features. And um, I think we've come a long way. Uh, we, have a, uh, we have further to go. But work of the team that I've worked with is really responsible to this. And I want to acknowledge Ken Jones, my mentor. Ken uh, is a dynamo. He's the Ever Ready Bunny. He's in his 70s now and still going strong. Uh, and I want to thank, I really am very grateful to the NIAAA for the, the opportunities they've given me. Um, and I want to thank Dr. Phil May and the group at CASA at the University of New Mexico. Uh, most of the work that I've done has been a collaborative group uh, effort. Um, my colleagues and I have headed up the dysmorphology and the sort of the physical assessment of these children, but there have been a tremendous number of individuals, Wendy Kahlberg, Jerome, who's here with us from Casa, New Mexico. There's a great team there, and I'm very thankful to them. And finally, uh, in terms of my professional uh, relationships. I, I wouldn't be in, back in South Dakota if it hadn't been for Amy Elliott. Um, Amy um, is a, a great researcher. She has her office two doors down from mine and she called me one day when I was at Stanford and said, you wouldn't consider moving back to South Dakota, would you? And I said, well, it would depend on the job. And she said, well, you could work with me. <laughs> and I said, well, that would be a pleasure. So anyway, after 35 years, I returned to South Dakota. And I want to thank my wife, Gloria, who is here with me tonight. And um, we've, this is our, our 40th wedding anniversary this year. Um, Um, she and, and just like Kathy, she hasn't changed, but I have. Uh, we have we have three wonderful children. One of our children is a pediatrician who's been with me in South Africa on a research trip um, with fetal alcohol syndrome and four grandchildren. So we're, we've been blessed. And but thank you very much. It's it's a real honor to receive this award.